Hello. Hi there. I've got this really good idea for, I want to be a cupcake king. Oh, that sounds cool. Nobody will help me. I've been striking out up and down Main Street. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, Extension does have some uh, printed material that might help you and get you in the right avenue of how to get the business started. You're kidding me. Not at all. Let me see here. Well, here's one on just how to get started. What are the things that you need to do? And here's another one that talks about a checklist in starting a business in North Dakota. Do you think those would help? So, that's great. But you're, not, you're only open part of the time. What do I do like tonight when I want to keep going? When you want to keep going, this one has got some web connections to answer a lot of your questions. It'll lead you to the different places you need to go for forms. Thank you. Is there other places online I can go at, at, at your site? You know, we have our, our county website and we also have Facebook and the university itself has got connections to a number of these issues. Well, thank you. I've worked all afternoon trying to find this and you're the first people who have given me some positive answers. I appreciate it. You are very welcome and good luck with your business. Okay. NDSU Extension makes connections. You know, sometimes people just walk into your office and want to know more about what your programming is. A gentleman walked into our office and said that he had grown up in Florida and had heard something about Extension, but he wanted to know what our youth programming was about. So I told him a few things about uh, the different programs we have going on, and when I got to the after school part, he goes, you know what? I really want to support some youth programming here in Montreal County. Would, what would you need to run your after school program for the year so that you wouldn't have to charge the kids any uh, fees to participate? He sat down, wrote a check, and funded our whole year for all the supplies and things that we needed. Sometimes, you never know, someone just walks in and offers help. And a group of people got together, decided they wanted to continue the idea of promoting and preserving the heritage and culture of the Germans from Russia. And so the organization started and we are now online. We have a Facebook presence. We are German-Russian country, Prairie Legacy. We have a logo. We have um, comments that are Twittered. We have a um, Das Gut Essen blog site. And um, it just proves that the NDSU Extension Service can make good use of technology to connect with our clients. Okay. You've seen and heard examples of NDSU Extension connecting by chance using traditional media and online. CEDL embraces technology. The time for change is now. Mm. <laughs>